Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Shadow Steelix. But not only that, we're going to be doing something not too conventional. And that is going to be using an all steel team. Yes, that's right. So we're going to be going with Shadow Steelix, Shadow Mawile, and then for the final one, Escavalier. No shadow for that yet. Now, if you're thinking, well, <laughs> I mean, this is not too uh, well-rounded of a team here, Poke. Absolutely, definitely. I'm just having a little fun. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can pull off. If we encounter some sort of a ground type, we're going to be in all kinds of trouble. But there are ways to pull around that situation. We do have Escavalier. And then Steelix can also hit them with Psychic or uh, Psychic Fangs and Crunch, right? All right, so let's have a little fun here and see what we have going on. We got an S Cavalier versus S Cavalier. Gonna make this video nice and short and sweet for you all here. So let's get into it. This is gonna be my first Shadow Steelix. A very, very, very steep investment if you're going to be powering it up for the Ultra League, that is. As far as the Great League, it's, you know, it can be a bit of a pricey thing to invest in depending upon your Stardust range. All right, let's get into this. What do we got? Steelix in the lead, met with a Mawile. Now for the Steelix, we're gonna be going with Thunder Fang. If this is a Fire Fang Mawile, oh shoot, we're not looking too good, folks. This is not good. Expecting a power up punch here from my mascot. Gotta love to see this Mawile out here. It's awesome seeing other people use it. Going for Psychic Fangs, they're gonna be letting that go while they're freaking Fire Fanging us down like Mawile does. Bringing in my own Mawile to Fire Fang them down, but not before they take a good chunk out of my health. Bringing in Ludicolo with Razor Leaf, gonna immediately swap into my Shiny S Cavalier, and they're gonna be staying here. We're gonna go straight for the Mega Horn. I mean, of course we are. We're not gonna go Drill Run. I mean, we could potentially bait, but why? bait when we're looking really good here getting the last shield or no 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 that's their first shield they go for leave tornado we shield it up just to keep ourselves safe here and nice and healthy you never know what we're going to be encountering and uh, they're bringing in a ferrothorn which is going to be using thunder taking us out now we let it go because we do have the fire fig maw wow which is going to be able to resist the razor leaf here and they can shield this up all they want. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're going to be able to take the win with Mawile still holding on to one shield. I was having some pretty good times with this all steel team, although it was getting screwed over a lot of times, which there's no blame but my own when it comes to that because, I mean, we're using all steel. Met with a Swampert Shadow in the front. This is exactly where we would want to see it, if anything. And almost gonna have to use two shields here, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to use both shields right out the gate. Are we gonna be able to pull this off? Getting to the next drill run. Do they want to double shield as well? And they are going to let it go, holding on to their last shield and bringing in a Pelipper. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. This should KO our Escavalier. Oh, right, it does. Now we have Thunderfangs, which does an extreme amount of damage, but we are also gonna be taking quite a bit from the Weather Ball. Seeing that we're ground and shadow, they swap and they have a steel it or a registeel. Okay, registeel it is. Okay, gonna bring in Mawile. This is not good. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now focus blast is what they're gonna want to go with. Okay, exactly. But here we go. Give Mawile an inch up against the registeel, and it will take an absolute mile. All right, so we're farming them down. Zero shields on either end here. Can we get them out? One. Two, and we take the win with the Thunderfang Shadow Steelix. Let's go. Next battle leading with S Cavalier, and we're met with a Lucario. I'll take it. Absolutely. And they're swapping into a Skarmory, in which we're going to go ahead and wall the hell out of them with the Steelix here that does have Thunderfang, and we will be farming them all the way down. Now, Mawile could have went into this fight, and it is an absolutely amazing fight for Mawile, but we're going to be able to take the hits a little bit better here with the Steelix, so we're just going to go ahead and stay right here. And I just feel better, almost not necessarily, you know, it's not expendable, but it's, you know, able to charge up and now lower the stats of our opponent with Psychic Fangs here. So we're going to be getting a shield out of them after the second one. And they do have a decent amount of energy on that Lucario, bringing in the Escavalier. We're going to go ahead and shield this up for good measure. It is just a power punch and they have a Mag Cargo in the back, but... If this was a incinerate, we would have been incinerated. Still had a chance to win, but not too not too likely. But it did have rock throw, so we're taking that win. Thank goodness. All right, next battle, what are we going to see? Quagsire. Okay, another ground type that we just simply don't want to see. But if anything, this is exactly what we would want to see it up against the S Cavalier. So let's have a little fun here. Now, I'm thinking, you know, they're going to go mud bomb. They're thinking 
I'm thinking they're going to go mud bomb, but they go stone ditch and say, screw you, Poke. No, I'm not. Retreating with energy and bringing in an arachnoid, I swap into the Steelix here with Thunderfang, which is super effective. They're going to be able to hit me with Bubble Bean to lower my attack. Uh, not too good here. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Psychic Fangs. And uh, all right, they're going to let it go. They've already used one shield, and we're going to let this go. Definitely. I mean, we don't really need to shield this up. It's not doing too much here. All right, building up energy, and I wanted to farm them all the way down, but these bubble beams are lowering my attack, so I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Psychic Fangs and get them the hell out of here. They are down a shield, so we're already in the green, to say. I guess you can say that. Looking good. Going for Psychic Fangs, lowering the defense. Obviously, a Mud Bomb is going to be one-shotting this thing. Easy money. Easy money. One-shotting us in uh, from half health. Bringing an S Cavalier and immediately going for the Drill Run, taking out the Quagsire. And they have an Alolan Sand Slash in the back. And we bring in the Maul while And they literally put their phone down and gave up. Because, well, that's just what it is. It's not their skills. Oh, so much skill in this game. Next battle, Dugon. They have lost that lead hard. I swap into Maul Wild, as they do bring in Lucario. And we're going to go ahead and let this go as it is going to be a power-up punch and we will be able to farm them down. And we're still in the yellow. Fantastic. Bring back that Dugong. I would love to see it because I'm going to go ahead and go for an Iron Head here, which is going to not be super effective, but it's still going to do a decent amount, especially because we're Shadow and getting stabbed. Bringing them into the yellow here. Looks like they want to farm me all the way down. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. We're going to go ahead and go for a power punch, which I expect to shield here. Exactly. Kind of did that backwards. You know, I should have went power punch iron head, but that would have been obvious. So yeah, that's fine. Bring in an S Cavalier. I'm expecting a drill run here and they're going to go Icy Wind to lower my attack and then swap into Pelipper. So we're going to immediately bring in the Steelix with Thunderfang and have a little fun. Now, we're not shielding this up. No, no, we're definitely not. I think we do for the second one. Okay, now we do. Okay, take it back. Now we will shield it up. Okay. <laughs> we'll take this win here. Well, it's not over yet. All right, now it's over. We already knew we won that. So Shadow Steelix with Thunderfang. Pretty fun in the Fossil Cup. Next battle, Escavalier met with a Pelipper. Not a good lead, not a good lead at all. You know what we have to do here? Just stay here. I never said that this was a well-rounded team. I said I was just challenging myself and trying to have a little fun. Let's see what we can do with an all-steel team in the Fossil Cup, okay? That's what I meant. I didn't say, oh my goodness, this team is gonna get you so many wins. Crap, and they got all, they lost all that energy. Oh, oh. You don't have no idea how hard I was laughing in person. Okay, so they have a Swampert. Now we're super screwed. Horrible lead, horrible middle. Again, I'm not gonna complain about the algorithm one time because I can't. I cannot. If I did, then you should say, okay, well, we've lost all credibility in you as far as talking about it. Because if you're running an all steel team and worried and, and complaining about what you're encountering for the front and the middle, you're, you're a little bit of delusion of their pokey AK. <laughs> and I would accept those comments and pin them. So no algorithm talk because, well, I have no room to talk. Anyways, we've got a sand slash that's getting melted into, mm, I don't even know what, just, mm, just melt that son of a gun. Yeah, we take that win, boys. Oh, shit. That was a close one. Next battle met with a Registeel. Okay. Love to see it. They're swapping into a Jellicent and I immediately bring in the Steelix with Thunderfang. Now, this is not even a, I mean, you know, you would want a I don't know, lantern or something for this situation here, but having Thunderfang is going to help. We do have Crunch and of course they shield it the frick up. Oh, golly, that annoys the hell out of me. All right, so we're not looking good. If we want to win this matchup, we're going to have to double shield this here. I'm going to let it go. Phew. All right. <laughs> Damn it. Bring it in Mawile. What do we got? All right. So they're bringing in Swampert. No, not good. Bring it in S Cavalier. <laughs> oh boy. This isn't great. I don't know. I don't know about this one. We let it go. Hitting Droll Run. If they shield this up, we're pretty much screwed. But they know what we have. So yeah, they know if they need to shield that up or not. I'm thinking, what do I do? Let it go? Is it all up to Mawile? They swap back into the Registeel. I'm thinking, okay, wait a minute. Do we got a chance to pull this off here? I mean, I don't know. Let's see what we got going on here. Folks, is the Mawel going to be able to pull it off for us? Are we going to be able to farm them down all the way to freaking Funky Town? Let's go. Oh, shoot. Going for a power-up punch. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the one where it screws me over. No. Oh, yeah. I had that iron head for a second. No, 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 no. Bullshit. That's a BS. Nope. Calling it. That's why I put it in. 
Should have hit that, okay? Should have hit that. Next battle, bad lead, Lantern. Okay, we're gonna swap into Steelix, not an answer. <laughs> As I swap into Steelix into a Lantern, they bring in Shadow Mawile. I'm getting worked, they're probably laughing their ass off. All right, <laughs> get into another Psychic Fangs, which is gonna probably draw out a shield here. Okay, yeah, they wanna win this matchup here. They've used one shield. I think I take them, no, they hit an Iron Head on my Mawile. I remember this very distinctly. So they're gonna hit an Iron Head here. Ow, doing a lot of damage. Bringing in that Lantern, I'm swapping to the Escavalier. I think we're still gonna wanna, wow, we let it go. Wow. We're really baking on that there's like a Ferrothorn in the back or something, huh? As that, that's pretty much the only way we could pull this crap off here. Otherwise, I don't see it happening, right? All right, going for a drill run. Show me that grass in the bag. Oh, you got grass in the bag, don't you? Oh, a freaking what the hell is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Folks, <laughs> what happened? All right, so we, I, I'm just playing this the best as I can. I'm thinking, what in the hell? We have got no health left. I swapped a catch knowing that they're going to throw in a panic. Folks, I think I did it. You like that clutch win? Oh, let's go. And that's going to be a battle wrap. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.